Hey guys, Tony Soy Sass, that's Sass, and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Another double review, Chasing the Dragon again. This time,、uh, it's gonna be the Oscar Valderas version of the Gurkha. There you go. So,、uh, let's take a very quick look of this cigar. Obviously, this cigar is Gurkha Year of the Dragon 2024, Oscar Valderas version, 6x52. Twenty dollar per stick. They usually come in a box of ten, so two fifty. The wrapper is Honduras Jamestring Corojo, and the binder is Honduras, and the filler is Honduras, which is、uh, Honduras Puro in a way. And the wrapper is I don't know. I will kind of like matte, powdery, chocolate looking.、Uh, the cap, one very light, one very deep. Not too bad. The color is relatively even on the foot, so not much to talk about other than time to smoke it. I'm very interested in this one because it's all Honduras. Not much crazy smell to it. I'm gonna cut it deeper, just in case. Why? Because I saw a stem that oh, I don't like. That's why. All right, that shouldn't be too much trouble. Yeah, there is a stem in there that's at the side of the wrap, but I don't think it's gonna cause too much trouble. Now that I cut it a little bit deeper, um, you can literally tell where the stem is. So, cut a little deeper, just precaution. Cause all the tobacco just went to my mouth. Yep, tobacco. Okay, spicy. <clears throat> Barnyard cocoa like taste. All right. Oh, okay. Very spicy. Now I do taste a little bit ammonia at the very beginning of this thing. Let's kind of slowly go away, just a little bit of the tip. Very strong, like pepper, powdery, baking spice. What is that? What do you call that?
a very bitter cocoa, like unprocessed cocoa. A little bit barnyard. Definitely like this taste of white pepper. Like a, like a really strong white pepper taste, but not the really strong white pepper spice. There's a, there's more of other spice in there that burns, but that white pepper taste, you can taste it. A little bit woodsiness. It's a strong blend taste. Yeah, think about all the... Uh, how do I describe that? Think about all the spice that you're tasting. You can taste it, you know they're there, ramped up to the maximum and cut off that umami. So it's like you can taste it, you know it's strong, there's a lot of them, but you're not really tasting it. It's like if you have a speaker that's high definition, you turn it up, you got to hear every sound really no, uh, really nicely, right? But if you have a really bad speaker, you ramp it up, you hear, all you hear is noise. It's a lot of them, it's really loud, but all you hear is like noise, right? Like really loud, rather than singing, because it's broken. The, the definition is broken. And that's what it tastes like. It's like a lot of flavor but the definition is just a lot of it but not pungent it's getting better settling down and get a little bit more woodsiness a little bit of sharpness so let me get to one third of this and i'll be right back all right so one third this thing really so far is not very good I mean, I guess it has the characteristic of Oscar, lead by Oscar kind of characteristic. Like a little bit of hay, more of a hay note to it. Kind of a little bit sweet here and there. And a little bit spice. But I don't see anything different about this than any other of their, like, you know, regular lead by Oscar cigars, really. I, I don't see the... I, I feel like they just use their tobacco and put it in there and call it there. So I even give a little bit more. This I smoked it a little bit more than one third. As you can see, it's closer to half. <clears throat> because I was hoping that the flavor would change up a little bit. It didn't. And, um, the the strain right now, I would say it's call uh it's probably just below median, so it's a mile. Like just just at the edge of mile. But this this is not enough flavor to justify this. So so far, not very good. But we'll smoke another. Little bit up to the band, to call it a uh, second third, and then um, and see if we got it better. But right now it's not. Right, right now I think this is so far the weakest one out of the out of the the whole entire package. Not that I smoke a lot of them. I smoke the regular one, smoke the uh, EPC one. This one is just not very particular. Not very particular. So you are right back. All right, second third. Um, the flavor kind of get a little bit more, but I'm going to be very honest with you. This thing tastes like a Leaf by Oscar, Connecticut, stronger. That's all I got, really. So for $25, I don't really see it, but that's the first band by Oscar Verderas. Make sure that you know that it's by them because, you know, but chances are by smoking it, you probably know it's by them because it just tastes like a Leaf by Oscar, a little bit more stronger. Obviously, the draw was weird, so I decided to pull out the Dragon Spine. This is the Dragon Spine. The Dragon Spine. Oh, don't tell me this is tiny. This is literally the Dragon Spine. Yeah. I smoked the first few out of it, but like, you know, in the end, it's like, you know what? It's not giving me the smoke I want. Pull some out. So, <clears throat> as of now, this is a... $11 cigar. And that counts, uh, that taking effect of the band, the design, and everything. Um, or else, what this would just be. 
I don't know, regular leave by Oscar price. But right now, I'll give it 11. So we'll figure it out. Laster, you right back? All right, so we're back. Um, yeah, like I said, this thing tastes like, I think I say uh, Connecticut. This is more like um, leave by Oscar Coroho. Leave by Oscar Coroho is what I, what I meant. Uh, and, and yeah, it's not, it's not very amazing or anything like that. It's like, at the end, it's like one taste throughout. There's, there's not much to it. It's just mostly hay. A little bit of sweetness. A little bit of spice. Mixed spice. Not much to it. So, yeah. This is probably the, the one of the boring ones from the Year of the Dragon series. Um, 11 is where I'm gonna, the best I can give it. It should be 10.30 or so. Or 10 or 10. Maybe 10. But, you know, given that it's uh, in the dragon, it's got packaging and all that stuff, and put everything in perspective, 11. I'll give it 11. So, yeah. Unfortunately, it's not very interesting, and uh, hopefully that save you guys the money not have to get this box of cigar. But also watch, uh, you know, Eric's review, Smoke Life if you have one. Uh, maybe he likes it. I doubt that. I doubt that. Like I, I, knowing his palate, I don't think he will like it. But maybe he likes it. Maybe he likes it. It's light. It's light. Uh, the strain probably is between a mile and mile medium, at most. Yeah, kind of disappointing cigar. I'm gonna smoke another cigar. So yeah, that will be it for this particular review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, like, uh, listen to our podcast. Join our membership for some, you know, exclusive stuff. And get our swag. Wear our t-shirts, hoodies. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.